Hello wonderful world and today is 5 of 7. So this is the 5th orphanage in Thailand. It's an orphanage called Krunam Foundation and it is one where I will be tested extremely hard. I say this because the orphanage is quite a distance away and lugging the food that I take to the orphanage is uh, is often difficult when it's 10 to 20 kilometers but this is close to 60 70 kilometers away from where I buy all the, the food and therefore this much weight on my Honda Forza 300 is tough to carry especially as the bike rarely goes straight and often these bends test me more than I really want to be tested but a promise is a promise and I made a promise to these children. This orphanage in particular touches my soul because the majority of the children are not Thai children. They come from Myanmar and Laos and I can't share with you why they've crossed borders to be housed in Thailand. But the facts I know are harrowing. They make the soul cry. Bell is to call the children and when they're here this young fellow seems to be very friendly. Swadi Krab? Krab? Ikram. <laughs> Bringing the food is great, but my favorite part is seeing the faces light up when you give them toys. And also when you play with them, which I will do later on. I've said this before and I'll say it again, I'm old school, so when I give toys out, it's cars and action figures for the boys and dolls and teddy bears for the girls. I know in the day and age we live in now, some would say I'm politically incorrect, but to be honest, the children smile, they're happy to receive what they get, and they deserve so much more than what I give them, but at least I can get them to smile. And that in itself is a treasure I will cherish until I meet them again and see that new smile or that smile rather renewed. Okay. <laughs> there were many angels that weren't present and I wanted to make sure that they didn't miss out on the happiness of a little toy so I made sure that I left sufficient toys to cater to those that weren't with us at this moment. God bless them wherever they may be. Time for me to go. Uh, wonderful experience. But before I go, I'm going to try to play with some of the kids. 
Um, let's see what we can do. Anyway, signing off for now. I have this little game I play with the children. I put them in a towel and I swing them around like a merry-go-round. Round and round they go. And I do this with as many children as I can until I'm physically spent. They know I do this because I do this every time I come and they look forward to this, often following me and trying to put their name forward for the next person in this human merry-go-round. It's lovely to see their smiles. It's lovely to see them happy. It's lovely to have fun with them because sometimes what they need more than the things that we give them is human interaction, love from somebody who cares. In this world, I think sometimes now actually showing care is something of a taboo. The world has gone absolutely crazy in my opinion. There are people that are siding with genocide in Palestine and they don't realize that we are all human. We are all one big family. And if we side with somebody that kills some of us, then surely our humanity is dead or is certainly dying at a pace that worries me and should worry all. Two for the price of one. <laughs> I put two little angels in the towel. Let's see if I can handle this. I can tell you after doing this, uh, I was um, in some pain, but to be honest, it's nothing compared to the happiness you see in the angels' faces. So many little angels. I wish I could stay there for longer. Yes, it's that time, that time where I say farewell to you and these wonderful angels. Just look at them playing. These angels are absolutely miraculous. Strong, resilient, they deserve so much more from this world. Anyway, <clears throat> before I go, I'll share with you some pictures of this beautiful area. What an angel. And then it's time to say that final goodbye. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. You take care, everyone. God bless you. God bless these children. God bless us all.